Hello and welcome to this new prototype demonstration of our recent project. In the last couple of uh, months we have uh, been working on this glasses-free uh, 3D display board for driving a glasses-free uh, 3D display like this. Currently we have a prototype running together with our mock-up board of an uh, STM32 Cortex M3 ARM processor. So currently this uh, STM32 is rendering this 3D graphics both for the left and the right eye and our board together with this display, 3D display, is then taking care of uh, showing those images for your left and right eye. But uh, let's uh, take a look at how these glasses free uh, 3D display works. Glasses free 3D is actually not a new invention. It has been going on for a long time, but it is really coming to the display world, LCD world now. Before, and I know you probably knew it, we have these lenticular 3D images where you can move them and then it switches the image to be seen from another angle. This technique is called lenticular, which means there is some stripes going here, you can hear, and you can also see them. Those uh, stripes are dividing the image because the image is separated into many lines, so many images are put together where the first pixel uh, is from the first image, the second pixel in the uh, column is from the second image and so on. And this lens, which is on top of the image, then takes care of dividing those pixels, showing the pixels and the images to the right eyes. This technique is called lenticular lens. But, and it's not the same technique, but almost uh, it's the same technique used on these new 3D LCDs, glasses-free 3D LCDs. Instead of having a lens in front, it has actually a uh, barrier, an, an electrical controlled barrier. And that's also why this is called parallax barrier display. Uh, on this display we have a normal LCD, which in this case for this small 3.5 inch display also includes a controller an RLI uh, 9481 display controller but also this display because it's a glasses free display it also includes a uh, type of lens a barrier here you see on top of it and this barrier is electrical controllable and uh, that means that the same technique is used for dividing the picture into the pixels uh, for each eye. So the first pixel up here is for the left eye and the second pixel when going this way is for the right eye and then the third pixel is for the left eye again and so on. Then this electrical parallax barrier takes care of showing this the first pixel to your left eye and the second pixel to your right eye. This technique works by a shuttering method where uh, it is actually a kind of LCD in front of it where it hides the uh, second pixel when it's displaying for the, the left eye example and then afterwards it's hiding for the, the first pixel to show the right eye image. So it's switching at uh, about 60 hertz shuttering uh, and shutting off the display lines like you can see here in the image above uh, we have these parallax barrier lines going uh, down in this image and then shutting off the LCD behind and the pixels behind but the great thing about this display 
is that you can turn it too and that this parallax barrier uh, is multi-viewable which means that it can also turn the parallax barriers so it uh, display the parallax barrier lines this way horizontally instead of uh, yeah vertically or horizontally instead of vertically so this can be view this can show 3d in both ways both the white screen way and the um, normal way. This display we have here is actually uh, 320 by 480 pixels but when viewing in 3D in this angle as we are doing in our demonstrations the white uh, screen the resolution will be limited to only 240 pixels because of the uh, image dividing uh, principle technique where one pixel is for is needed necessary for each eye so that's divided by two on the other hand we also have this larger 7 inch 3d glasses free 3d display which we are working on making a Bought for two. But um, let's take a look at the breakout board we made for the microcontroller or microprocessors. But for driving this display, 3D display, is actually not just a manner of controlling some digital lines, um, or in this case, because it's a, a digital, it includes a controller writing to the controller registers. No, it isn't just that, because we have to control this parallax barrier shutting method, driving and giving it uh, 60 hertz frequency, enabling or disabling it, or telling it which direction we want the 3D to be in. So we make this breakout board which uh, connects the 3D display connector down here and then it includes all the required um, yeah, electronics to drive this display both the backlight driving circuitry and the shutter driving circuitry and also it provides an easy to use interface to communicate with the display controller so we have just connected all these lines uh, which is currently 16-bit uh, display controlling lines to our STM32 ARM processor. <clears throat> this processor uh, doesn't have to be an STM32, it can be any uh, processor. But uh, let's have a look at this in action where you can really see the 3D Though it's actually very difficult to show a real 3D, um, yeah, re real 3D on a normal camera, we have uh, made a demonstration for you so you can see how this parallax barrier works. So let's have a look on that. Okay, now we have attached the power supply for our uh, ARM mock-up board. And currently the shutter driving feature for the parallax barrier is turned off. And uh, the image we have uh, decided to show here, display right now, is actually just a combined image of red and green pixels. So the first pixel up here uh, in the left corner is red, Whoops. while the right one is green. And then it switched back, so the next one is red and the next one is green. This makes the image look yellow, of course, because blending of red and green makes it yellow. But now, let's have a look when we turn on the parallax barrier. Now you would see that the image actually turned green. And that's because of the current viewing angle of the camera is watching the right eye image. Now, look if we change the viewing angle to the left eye. Here, you'd see that the image has turned 
uh, red there. If I go back, it will turn green. So this is the, actually the the barrier display, parallax barrier display uh, technique. Because of it going this way, when I turn and simulate the difference between our eyes, the distance, uh, I change it in the viewing angle, you will see the other image. This way it's much much better to show off how the principle works. But now let's have a look on a real 3D image and see how it looks. In this case we have decided to show an image of some plants and cactus. Uh, and this is a 3D image and it, lo it looks very good because of this plant it is actually going out of the display so instead of being here which is the display it is out here floating. So this is real 3D but unfortunately you can't see that on the camera but I can show you the movement as we did before with the viewing angle if I move over here you'd see that the plant is slightly changing the the place where the plant used to be is changing and this is also because of the viewing angle you would see the same thing if you went out uh, and uh, shot your left eye and right eye uh, changing which one you uh, decide to to close then you will see a slightly change in the environment too and this is because of the 3D world how it works with the distance between your eyes it's is called uh, stereoscopy so um, now this 3D image is saved into the uh, STM, the ARM processor, STM32, so it requires a lot of memory. So we would like to uh, generate the 3D images by ourselves by just saving a 3D model into the ARM processor and then having it to render that 3D uh, object. So we decided to build our own 3D rendering uh, application for the ARM processor. Thanks to our employee, A.V. Rothstein, we have uh, managed to make this 3D rendering application where these two boxes are saved as a 3D model, the 3D points are saved internally into the ARM, and then the ARM microprocessor takes care of this rendering and rotation of these. It's very easy to change these objects, it's just a matter of running an application we make for the computer which opens a DirectX uh, file for example or 3ds Max 3D file turning it into an uh, .h includement file to use with this application though it's difficult for me to show you the the real 3D because this is actually coming out of the display especially when it's rotating so one of the boxes in, is in front of the other it is coming out but I can show you if I view change the viewing angle you would notice that it looks like there is four boxes now uh, two boxes and then uh, I, I mean there is two boxes on top of each other a total of four can you see that if then I change it to the left eye you would only see one or to the right eye you would also only see one but again this is also because this parallax barrier has a limited viewing angle you have to be in front of it and you have to sit correctly because if you move too much to the left your eyes would also be switched which means in this case the 3D will go into the display instead of out making your eyes very uh, annoyed. But um, this is our 3D rendering application which works currently the shutter is enabled if we disable it you will also see the the double squares as I was talking about. So uh, thanks for uh, watching and I hope you will uh, follow us on uh, Twitter for example we have been uh, posting some updates on how this went this project is going so uh, follow us on uh, Twitter on the you can find us on the link here in the video description or 
the link shown here. So um, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the prototype. Okay, Jay, production.